dip your toes into rotary engine maintenance and the first piece of advice you'll hear is to hit red line at least once a day. The 13B encourages you to drive it like you stole it. While the Italian tune-up does work, it does have its limitations. This is meant to free up the engine of any carbon buildup. Unless your entire existence belongs to the Silicon Valley, and every car you've seen is a Tesla, you would know that cars run on a mixture of gasoline and air. Well, the fuel mixtures can never be 100% efficient, and the byproduct is excess carbon buildup. How do we solve this problem? Italian tune-up. Long ago, a group of testosterone-filled Italians found out that if you drive your car hard and aggressively, it was a good way of cleaning up carbon from your engine. More force, more load, more speed, more clean. It's like clearing your throat, quick and forceful. Not just that, but it's more fun. High mileage commuting engines are bound to have some sort of carbon buildup. And while a good blast around the twisties is a good way to help, there is a better solution for the more stubborn buildup. Uh, so what you do is you get some water and a spray bottle. On S4s, there is a vacuum line you could pull off the intake manifold. Where is it? Like down center? Yeah, so on S4 manifolds underneath the BAC valve, there's a nipple right here that's a vacuum line that essentially feeds both intake runners. So you just stick that hose into a gallon, a gallon of water like that, and then it'll suck up the water and feed it into the engine evenly. For S5s, it's a little bit more complicated. There's one vacuum hose here, or vacuum line here you could use. And there's another one back here you could use. So this would be for front rotor, this would be for rear rotor. I'm gonna do half a gallon of water sucking in to the front rotor and half a gallon into the back rear rotor. When you do this, make sure you rev the car up, maybe two, 3,000 RPM, and hold it there, because when it's sucking in water, it will kind of stumble a bit. So you gotta give it some gas, keep it alive. Should be it, right? Yeah, so when you're doing this, your exhaust is going to get hot. Cat and headers might glow. Just uh, keep an eye out for that. I don't have a cat, so I ain't got to worry. And then while you're doing this too, your car will blow out a lot of steam out the back. So just be careful with that too. Make sure your neighbors don't think you're blowing something up. All right, so here we have front rotor, intake manifold, into a gallon of water. Get to about half and then we'll stop and then we'll do the other side. So steam takes up like a thousand times, I think, the space of water. So when all these little water droplets are coming in, you could think of it as like a World War II bombing run. All these little droplets are attacking the carbon and instantly blowing up and turning into steam. It just knocks all that carbon out. It's kind of funny since this is a German engine. <laughs> Working to sucking, the doobie sucking. All right, so rear rotor. <laughs> There's a vacuum hose right back here, which hopefully feeds the rear rotor. I think it feeds both since this is before, like before they split. That easy. Let's get an S5. It was a lot easier for me. It took like it took like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took like twice as much time. Yeah, for me it was. It also helped with the like little throttle adjustments because when I would be in like a parking lot and it's like really low speed cruising, you're kind of just making little adjustments on the throttle. Um, I it would start to jerk really bad. The car would just like start bogging like this, and then after I did this, that was like gone pretty much. Maybe just a little bit there. Yeah, and then the car ran smoother too, just in general. Like idle was uh, smoother. I did this like, I wanna say, maybe like 500 to 1,000 miles ago. Um, hasn't like caused anything since then either. But I know that's not a lot of miles, but still. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what better way to end a video than with burritos? Yeah. Spicy sauce. <laughs> <laughs>
That's the outro. <laughs> it's still back there. Welcome back to the Kakudo channel. Okay, I think it's gone. Today we choke on... We like choking on things here.